Hello everyone, I'm Sarabji from ET Travel and I have just been joined by Ms. Kamboj. Welcome Ms. Kamboj. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. So, uh, what is your perspective of uh, mice and wearing tourism in respect to in market? So, uh, well, I look at it in two ways. One, how it was pre-pandemic. Now, everything has become pre and post-pandemic. So, uh, if you look at it, if you look at how it has grown post-pandemic, it has been a steady growth and a very positive growth. Uh, the weddings market. Uh, did very well for us uh, immediately after the pandemic as well and that was owing to various factors the most important being that uh, the borders were still not open to a lot yes. of other countries so i think india benefited a lot by that particular restriction um, it boomed in 2022 it is still booming in 2023 uh, and uh, it is here to stay because i in my opinion the indians have also now uh, realize the potential of wedding destinations within the country, which was largely very unexplored. Uh, so during these two years, they have gone out, explored various destinations, found unique destinations, and realized that India has much more potential than they, we actually have given them, given ourselves credit to. So uh, yes, the, my, the wedding industry has really looked up for for India as a destination, uh, where mice is concerned, uh, even even the mice market has has picked up. There were a lot of restrictions initially um, uh, on so on the on the gatherings. There were uh, co uh, certain compliances which the corporates themselves had, uh, and therefore were completely avoiding uh, meetings. So even if they were a small format meeting, everything was happening uh, in, a, in a hybrid or a, a completely virtual mode. Uh, so that is something that. Uh, be it, uh, of course, 2020, nothing did happen. 2021 uh, and a little bit of beginning of 2022, a lot of it happened on a virtual mode. Uh, but then beginning of the second half of 2022, we started seeing a lot of pent up demand from corporates, from uh, various other mice segments who wanted to meet. Uh, people had been locked up and uh, the opportunity for networking was hardly ever there in, in those 18 months. So the, this pent-up demand actually created a lot of demand for uh, hotels, venues, and uh, hotels again started seeing an upward trend in occupancies and, and meetings. So uh, it grew from there. Um, 2023 is looking positive again. Um, there is still a lot of... Uh, requests coming in for, for MICE meetings. Um, uh, the associations are now starting to plan their congresses uh, much more frequently. They, uh, in 22, nothing did happen in India. Again, 23, 24, going forward from 24 and 25, a lot of international meetings are being considered for India, which was, uh, I mean, association organizers didn't want to talk about it because it was it was so uncertain uh, that uh, the ambassadors based in India also didn't want to put up their hands to bid for an Indian uh, for for India to be the destination because nobody knew where it was going yeah. also we need to understand that there was a time in 20 and 21 where there were congresses that were planned globally which did not take place so something that had to happen in 20 got moved to 21 then again got moved to 20 uh, 22 so Wherever India stood in that in that time period uh, to host a particular congress for an association, it just kept moving. So now what is happening is whatever was scheduled to happen has moved down the lines in the years to come. But as we see right now, it seems like associations have also... Uh, so I was reading a report uh, a few days back that... Uh, 51% of the association organizations have actually come up and said uh, in that report, uh, the, uh, the respondents have said that uh, their largest Congress of, of their association is poised for 2023. Mm -hmm. This is compared to 41% that said it last year. So as you see, the, it's increasing now. You know, so people want to go out there, people want to network, and uh, it is no longer... Uh, uh, it is no longer something that people want to hold themselves back. But yes, again, the the entire um, associations is also revolving around a mix of uh, in-person and virtual meetings still. So that is a trend that is, I think, here to stay for some more uh, months or maybe even a couple of years. Absolutely. So how do you like this initiative taken by ET uh, Travel World? It's the first initiative about this event, about mice and wedding tourism in terms of speakers, arrangements. How do you like it? 
Uh, it's it's fantastic, actually. Um, I, I'm sorry I've gotten about an hour late, so I didn't I uh, <laughs> I didn't catch the initial bit of it because I had a flight in the morning. But uh, the uh, the speakers are really great. I mean, the kind of uh, knowledge that they have brought to the platform. Some of it uh, was completely new to us. Some of it was uh, something that was behind sitting behind our head, but we had not realized it. There were people who yeah. brought it to the forefront yeah. and made us realize that oh yes, everybody is going through the same thing. So uh, it was very enlightening, and I think you guys have done done a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was Miss Kamboj. Thank you.